floats for the win. Okay. That was fun though. I was surprised I got so many Belladonas. Let's see what we can do in this run. That's a decent start. I should beat this guy. Well, he's got health potion. He's got healing herbs. More healing than me. But I got the shield and more DPS than him. So we went. Good game. Let's get you some space. Because I like space. And let's see what we do now. Oh. That is a... Okay. I love how I was just in the corner. That makes it way better. Good game. Um... Why not? Alright, build. I need to build the... You know, show itself to me. Show yourself to me, build. You know, just show yourself to me. This could be a nice... You know, let's do something with the broom. Let's do something with the broom. Not fuck the pig. As soon as I said that, the game just gave me a mana orb. Thank you for that game. Okay. That's kind of exactly what I needed. In order to do something with the broom, you need a mana orb. Now, with that being said, we could uh, keep it as a magic staff, or we could go to crit wood staff. But what'd you say? Lol. So if we go magic staff, we go crit wood staff. Um, we could just stick with the crit wood staff. Hold up. I'm envisioning. I'm envisioning the build in my head right now. Okay. It's getting envisioned. Alright, I'm done. I know exactly what build we're going for. It's very dumb. But it's cool! So we're doing it. I'm not gonna tell you guys what the build is, though. You're just gonna have to watch and see. And, and watch the amazingness come into fruition. Because that's what it's about to go down. This is exactly what it's about to go down. And we're getting a lot of wins early. Give me another mana orb. Give me another mana orb. I'll take the space. Will I take the space? Space is on sale, but I, I'm pretty solid on space right now. I'm, yeah, no space for me. Give me a mana orb. Okay. I'll take both of those though. I'll take the blueberry. I need some form of mana generation for this thing. Even if it's not a mana orb, it's gotta be something. Double shovel. Look how perfect this thing looks. Double shovel, double piggy, double regen. Leather armor. With some poison res. Nasty human, you nasty human. Still lost. Good game. All right, give me that, give me that. That was all my money. But on the bright side, I've got mana generation, which helps my DPS even in the slightest. And they've got that with that and that and that. It's a lot of crit, buddy. Even so, the magic staff is just amazing. Ooh, baby, baby, give me that, give me that, give me that too, give me that too, give me that too, give me that, too. Give, me that give, give me that, give me that too, give it all. Oh. Eh, that works. I don't need you anymore. you anymore either 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 neither neither <laughs> can i have that please i would love a vamp armor for myself you know sharing is caring i don't know if i do enough dps to break that thing bro damn you're cheating at this point you might kill yourself though with all that you got going on please do damn that's okay though. Get Lifebringer. Get that guy. 
I'm trying to get some space. I might as well just buy this. Okay, so in the middle you go. And um Let's do something. Uh, let's do this into that. Into that, into that. Into that, into that. Go down there. You get a little bit faster for me. I like that. All right. Okay. Eh. Decent. That's a double mana thirst. With amplified healing? How's your DPS increase, though? It just doesn't. <laughs> I can see if you had a steel goober, but you kind of don't. Interesting. What else? Um, I'll take you, 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 I will definitely take you. I'll take you too. Okay. So now that you're here, you're getting moved down here for that damage increase. Um, you can be another activator right down there. And then I can go ahead and put down you with you. And then we can just uh, do that. Nice. Do I need what? I'm not healing, right? Except for this, five amount of use. Actually, yeah. Yeah. That's actually not bad now that I think about it. All right. So far, so good. Ooh, that's a fancy, fancy rapier, though. That's not no so far, so good. That's a so far, so bad. But we do have increase in DPS. We're like a glass cannon build almost. Well, we're, we pretty much are a glass cannon build. With a little bit, a little bit of shielding. All right. Um, I'm gonna sell you. I don't need you anymore. I sold you to get the Shield of Valor, but I kind of don't have a spot for it. Unless I were to move this up there? And then that works. This will just put you there for now. Um. Yeah. Let's get you. No combination though. I'm gonna roll with that. I need some leather armors and I need some mana orbs. If I can get that, the build becomes complete. But this guy's got a bloodthorn. It's very dangerous. He's gonna out DPS us faster than we can out DPS him. Yeah. We did pretty good though against him though. To be fair. Ooh, buddy, buddy. Okay. We don't F word. Big F word. We don't really have space. So I will sell the garlic in that. So I can get you. I want that. I kind of do want this topaz. Key word was kind of. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. We'll be fine. Great sword on the Excalibur. That's a dangerous build. He's going to get the empowerment from the carrots. Making that uh, great sword way faster. He's gonna use up less stamina too. And he's getting the healing and everything from all the food. Dangerous! On the bright side, at least our survivability has increased now that we have the, uh, the armor. Which is good for us. I can give me a mana orb though. Please give me a fucking mana orb. Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne! Um...
let's pick that up. Thank you. I'm so glad I rolled. I'm so happy I rolled. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I rolled. Even though I had something reserved there, I still rolled and I don't regret anything. The only thing I do regret is not getting more space because I would love to put that there. Um, I mean, I could sell a bunch of jewels, but I'm trying to keep these if I'm being honest with myself. Just for the resist of everything. And the Amplify Healing is nice too. You get all these blueberries. Alright, our stamina gen is nice now. Our mana generation. Wow. Mana Thirst and a Blood Gebert is interesting. I guess for the vampirism, but you're not gaining any. Except those two from the blood goober. Holy crap. He's actually... He did a lot of damage to us. I don't even know from what. That's okay though. I'll take those L's. Because now I have moon shield, so I'm happy. Still don't know what he took damage from though. Interesting. Um, kill that. Give me space. No. Another acorn collar would be nice. I think I take this acorn collar. Just for the increase in crit. That should be all the crit that I need. We're getting the things from the clover. Can I get space though? Magic torch rip shawl. Managing from the mana board. Okay. Good game. Ooh. The build is indeed cooking. Give me more space, please. Please. I don't need any more vamp hamlets. Thank you. Uh. Crap, I don't want to sell anything. Crap. Do I have to sell anything? Hold up. that there and then did this that still works okay that still works actually it's way better space and serve nice and that can go there I can combine those two, and I can combine those two. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um. Wow. On a foul. Wow. Okay. Rapier, Falcon Blade, Spectro Dagger, Mana Torch. You made everything super fast, but you have no stamina. I don't understand you. Especially going against someone with double sword or shields. You are rocking a bumpy road, my friend. You're not gonna be able to hit me for nothing. Not without you having stamina. I like how I'm critting. What's my crit chance? 62. All right, I guess that's not bad having three, um, three clovers. That's not too bad, right? Four now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's get that second moon shield. Combine both of you. And get a little bit more space. Ooh, yes. That's exactly what I need. Another vamp armor. Exactly. Oh, no. Not a blood thorn. Please have mercy on me. 
I do have double shields, though. We will stam you out. Hopefully. Or we'll just out DPS you. I don't know how I'm critting for 68. 78. 80. 82. 92. It's almost like I do the exact same amount of damage as in 44 to 48. I actually do. Well, not the you know, same, but very similar amounts of damage. And I'm using less stam. I'm using 0.7 a second. He's using 1.6 a second. But our damage is practically the same. Kinda. I mean, mine is 39.41. His is 44.48. But he's doing 40 a second. I'm doing 27 a second. So it's not exactly the same. Plus, him having vampirism is better. On the bright side, though, this is a magic weapon. So I'm not affected by the spikes. But he's got better healing because of the vamp. But I have the leaf, which 5 mana use. I heal for 5. And since I'm using 3 each attack... I'm healing almost every time that I'm attacking for five. And then having the amplified healing means I heal for even more. And then vampirism is just good to have. And then I'm going to get double armor for even more. Which is great. And I can combine both of those. My goal with this build is to be able to generate so much mana that I can actually proc a mana orb. At least that's what I'm hoping I'll be able to do. Okay, so let's move you up here. Um, this entire build is going to have to move down by one. Put you up here. We'll put the armor right in the middle. That can go right there. And then put the bird right there. That's good. Other armor goes there with the vamp armor going there. And now I don't have space for anything. Crap, I need to combine. Well, then again, I do gain mana. Or gain armor. From that. So maybe it's good to just have that there. I do need space. And a lot of it. And a lot of it. I hope I can get some next round. I'm feeling confident in this build. I don't think I'm gonna lose. Versus what the fuck? Let me look at this. Double mana orb. He's got double flawless sapphires on a falcon blade with a shit ton of blueberries. Why crit? So he's generating crits from the blueberries. And using the falcon blade make it super fast, along with having the sapphires to generate the the um the mana. But his main form of DPS is the Rapier. And the Rapier is going to be using a shit ton of the Clovers. The Clovers that are generating from the Blueberries going super fast. But there's no way you generate enough Clovers for that. This game is going to use it way too many Clovers for that. On the bright side, at least he doesn't have any of the Flawless on this Rapier. Because this thing is not going to be doing uh, the most amount of damage to us. It's going to be his Rapier doing the most amount of damage to us, as you can see. But he does generate a nice amount of luck, though. Look at that. He's still... As long as he's staying above three, he's fine, I think. Holy crap. Even with me having a bird. And he's also making me slow. Wow. What a build. That's a cool-ass build, though. Alright, I need space. Those. Uh, why not? Okay, so... Um... Yeah, there's no way there's another way of putting that somewhere. Like that. Unless I were to flip you, but... Wait, no, that would actually work. Let's move you up by one. So I would do boom, boom. And this will go there. This goes there. Uh, I think blueberries are just goaded for most ranger builds. Honestly, yeah, I've never seen a build like that. I was super surprised. I didn't think it was going to work as well as it did. That His build worked really well 
very surprisingly really well. I give him props for that. I was not expecting it to go that well for him. At all. One slot fast, it generates mana and clovers, nature item. Yep. And then having the Falcon Bleed there for the slowness, plus making everything else faster, really worked out very well for him. I give him all the props he deserves for that one. Very nice build. I've never seen a build like that. I love it when I, I see builds I've never seen before, because I'm like, what is that? And what does it do? I just fucked everything. But yeah, I... That is, that is really cool. Seeing builds you've never seen before and them actually being good is like really nice. Because you, you get tired of seeing the same builds over and over and over and over again, right? The same OP good builds, which, you know, makes sense because people want to win. But it, it means so much more when you see a build you've never seen, no one uses, and it beats you. Because then you're like, damn. He's actually got a really unique, good build. And it's dope. Alright, there we go. I might as well pick this up for space, I think. And I can also make this faster. This is kind of like the first build that I did that was a mana build, except it's just using a mana thirst or a mana, um, mana staff thing. I do need another mana orb though. I would love to get a mana orb proc. I think I generate enough mana now in order to reliably get a mana orb proc. And it's always nice getting that crit from the blueberries. At this point, I just need a bunch of carrots. But yeah, I definitely need a mana orb. Getting that mana orb proc will just make this build better. I'm pretty sure we beat this guy. He's out of stamina. I mean, what can you do against two moon shields, you know? And he's got no form of stamina in except that one potion he already used. And our DPS is just going to keep on climbing. It would be kind of crazy if I added my own uh, fencing, fencing rapier to this build. <laughs> Me and my 30 clovers. Jesus, man, Key, how many 100 damages can you take? What the fuck? You took three of them. Um, can I put you somewhere? No. Well, technically, I could. I don't know if I want to, though. I should have got those gloves. Hey, mana orb. That's what I wanted. I'm gonna keep you just the way you are. Just the way you are. Oh, this is the last round as well. Okay. In that case, I might as well sell my box of riches and get this uh, blood amulet. And here we are. This is the final build. My final amazing magic staff build. It's got increased DPS from itself, plus the still goober. It's still goober is being activated from vampiric armor, moon shield, plus another vampiric armor, moon shield, and then uh, double birdie, making things fast for me. Blueberries are generating the clover. It's got double acorn collar on the side, a little bit of vampa, uh, a little bit of blood amulets for there. New addition is mana orb though. I would love to see that thing proc. Going against a interesting, what is this? A blood goober plus curse dagger, pandanomium, magic torch on double mana thirst. Very interesting build. I wonder if it's gonna proc twice. I already proc once. It gave me so much vamp from that one proc. Oh my gosh. I got 12 vampirism right now. It's disgusting. And I'm about to get me another proc. Boom. <laughs> Proc 2 achieved. Third proc? Question mark before he dies? His proc just went off too. I think I'm going to be able to give me a third proc. One more vamp armor push. Hey, there we go. 
Oh, he's leaving. Probably he's probably leaving because of the mana thirst. The health. We got up to a 711 armor. 711 freaking armor. That is. I mean, I feel like we could have done this build without the last vampiric armor. Honestly, the only reason I got it really was to generate so much mana, but we generated so much mana. We procked a freaking mana or three times in a row. That was a good game.